today's video, we're going to look at this Autogen OBD2 scanner. This device is going to help you diagnose any issues with your car, erase any codes. If you have a broken blinker light, for example, you can reset an error code and it will work right away without going to the mechanic. I'm going to show you how useful this device is for trucks, cars. Stay tuned for the video. In this video, I want to show you this Autogen diagnostic tool. It's very easy. Plug this into any uh, ODB port and then you can check the battery status of a car battery or you can check the, any diagnostic. So if there's like a blinker out or something, you can reset the code. If you, before you go to the mechanic, you can diagnose any issues, whether it's ODB leaks, sensors, tires or anything else. Let me show you how this one works. So let's check the battery status first. You got these very enter so no issues here let's go back and let's see if there's anything happening yeah that was fast all right so code found zero sure transmission engine module so let's see read codes stored codes so this car seems to have no codes, no codes, no codes. So this car is good. No way you can see live data, complete data, complete data. So all this, you can see, I don't know how to read it, but it's all in here. You can look up DTCs and it's the last one here tells you what the protocol is in this car. So let's try this on my uh, truck. I'm basically just plug it into the module, at least on my car here. Other cars are usually in a single spot underneath the system. steering column. And then you just basically turn this on. There's a battery uh, plugged in here. We also have a power bank that we use to charge it. And then as soon as you turn it on, you have to have the engine on. Uh, you can see that it's asking me, do I want to erase previously stored data? So I can go yes. So we'll go yes. Okay, now we know that we have an engine light on here. So let's, yeah, okay. So let's go to engine control. And you can see there's no codes here, but we did have one on here. So what this is gonna do, if you have an engine light, uh, let's just say it's like a, something that is not a terrible issue. Like say uh, you have like a vacuum little issue uh, with the gas tank, then that's something you can just erase automatically. And yeah, it's gonna pop up again, maybe like in a day or two but you can keep resetting it. But this is also very helpful because if you have another problem, it's gonna tell you exactly what the issue is. So you have to go to the mechanic and get a diagnose, or you can just call in any mechanic shop and say, hey, here's my issue. Here's the code that I'm getting. How much would it be for this repair? So this is what this is helpful. Let's go and uh, we can click read codes. Now, if any codes came up in here, they're gonna be saved in here. So we're gonna go stored. And this is, you can see that this is the issue that we have. O2 sensor circuit bank two sensor one. So we know that this is the actual code that was creating our engine light. And I and I did look this up uh, on a Google and it's like this little sensor that's underneath the tire that you, know, you can swap out. It's just a special tool that you need to replace, but it will help your fuel economy if I do it. There's different banks and then there's different sensors on different sides of the engine, at least in this truck. So this is why this is, helpful so now i can just take a picture of this start calling my mechanics and uh, get a quote on this so in all in all this is a pretty inexpensive little device not only that allows you to figure out what's wrong with your car so you don't get taken for a ride at your mechanics but it works in absolutely any car